take care today. I continue working on my coat racks. In my last episode, I turned this pose with a lot of help from Peter. But the coat racks are far from being done. Just before leaving, Peter helped me finish the hooks mold, so now I'm almost ready to glue all the hooks. But I need wood for that. So I cut several pieces from the cherry board I bought. Next, I make one side straight and mark them so all the strips will end up at the same place. Then I cut all the strips I need to complete both coat racks. To complete the hooks mold, I need to cut it in three. Then I attach all the sections with two inches. Next, I make sure the hooks won't stick to the mold. Then I can try my glue up strategy. I can clearly see that I need to cut the mold if I want to put all the clamps I need. Then I try it again and see that I still need to cut elsewhere. After a final test, I can glue the first set of hooks. I leave it alone for a full day. After three days, I have all the hooks I need. But I only have four legs. I need to mold two more sets. Because I use all my clamps for the glue up, I can only make one glue up a day. But on the next day, I'm able to glue the last set of legs. Finally, I have all the legs and hooks. Just like last time, I have to make one side straight on each glue up. Now that all my pieces have one side straight, I can cut them on the table saw. One thing for sure, it's not easy to cut weird shape like that on the table saw. But I managed to cut them without losing a finger. Now I can rescrew the legs to the post so it can stand on its own while I mark the placement of the hooks. But before doing anything else, I need to mark and drill pilot holes into the legs and hooks. The hooks have such a big curve that I can drill both of their holes on the drill press. Now I can screw the hooks in place.
It's perfect. But I also want to make a ring on top. Something like this. The first thing I need to do is to make another mold. When both layers of plywood are glued and screwed, I can draw the circle I want and drill a hole in the center for the jig I'll use to cut the circles. It's quite simple. It's just a piece of artboard with two holes at the right distance and a pattern collet. Now I just need to cut two circles at the depth of half of this. When I'm done, I cut between both circles. Next, I remove the unwanted wood and flush trim both molds. To be able to clamp the strips, I need to remove wood on both molds. I have to cut all my strips straight and rip them in half. I finally have everything I need to make the two rings. I want to make both rings at the same time. So I begin with this mold and glue strips on the exterior of the circle. After a couple of layers, I need to stop because it's getting too hard to hold the strips against each other. They only want to return straight when I remove the clamps. So I add a ton of clamps and start gluing strips on the other mold. Just like for the other mold, I need to stop after a couple of turns. I leave both glue ups alone and start working on the second post. The first thing I must do is make sure it's straight on four sides. Now I can put it on the lathe and mark where it will be turned. Then I cut the corners where I won't turn it. Now I have to repeat all the same operations Peter and I did for the first post.
I use a straight piece of wood to check if the top of the post is straight, so I know where to remove more wood. <sighs> Unfortunately, the piece of cherry I used had a nut. I need to fill the hole. I want to make a wood paste, so I collect cherry dust. After a while, I have enough dust to make an epoxy mix with cherry dust. Then I fill the hole with this paste. While the epoxy is curing, I can add two strips on both rings glue up. The next morning the epoxy is dry and I can turn it up to the rest of the post. When I'm done, I just need to sand my new post. I finish the sanding using my small sander with a soft interface pad. This makes a really nice job if you compare it to the spot which is not done yet. Those coat racks are not done yet. But if you are curious and want to see the final result, you'll have to come back for the next episode of The Woodpecker. Yeah.